So far, we've seen the various changes that occur in an adolescent. In this video, we will be discussing about an important concept of how secondary sexual characters develop. Wait a second. Do we know what exactly these secondary sexual characters are? Secondary sexual characters. They are characters that are exclusive to the individual sex of a person and are not primary. What does this statement mean by the way? By the word sex, I mean the sex of the individual, male or female. By not primary, I mean the characters which are not required for the process of reproduction. That's why we call them secondary. In boys, for instance, there is a growth of beard. Have you ever seen girls having a long or trimmed beard? Of course not. However, it is an exclusive character of males which is not found in females. So this is the simplest example to understand the concept of secondary sexual characters. Let us understand the concept with another example. In case of females, one extremely important physical change during puberty is the enlargement of breasts. It is exclusively found in adolescent females. So are there any other set of secondary sexual characters seen in males and females? Yes, of course. Apart from the growth of facial hair, the growth of hair on the chest, under the arms and in the pubic region are other examples of secondary sexual characters. Similarly in females, apart from breast development, hair growth around the pubic region and under the arms is also seen. So in a nutshell, the secondary sexual characters are those characters which are not really required as a part of reproductive system. But do you know what exactly makes these secondary sexual characters develop during puberty? These characters are all thanks to the hormones secreted by the gonads. Yes, hormones are the most important players in this process. The male gonads called testes secrete the male sex hormone called the testosterone. This is responsible for not only the development of the reproductive tissues, but also for the development of the secondary sexual characters in males. And the same is applicable to the female sex hormone called the estrogen secreted by the ovaries. It brings about the development of female reproductive tissues. At the same time, it takes up the responsibility of developing the secondary sexual characters in the female individuals. Who do you think controls the activities of these hormones in our body? The hormones regulate several processes. But who regulates the secretion of these hormones exactly? The mastermind to control all the hormonal secretions is the gland called the pituitary gland. Next, we will talk about these hormones, their major roles and how they bring about all the necessary activities inside our body.